Hello everyone, it's me, Miss Reed. And this book we are going to be reading today is called Franklin's Flying Bookshop. And it's by Jen Campbell and it's illustrated by Katie Harnett. Now this is a bit of a newer book than the ones we usually read. And I really like the story so I hope you'll enjoy it too. Um, the art style is a little bit different to what you usually see in a storybook. So try and follow along the reading and writing as we go. Let's see. Franklin's Flying Bookshop. I think we can guess who Franklin is. Franklin loves stories. Stories keep him warm at night. His front door is a bookcase that keeps out the wind. There are lots of books inside the cave that Franklin lives in. He likes to read them out loud for everyone to hear. There's lots of people there. Every day Franklin reads about King Arthur and roller skating, about electricity and baking. He reads about spiders and ballet and how to do kung fu. When the sun goes down, Franklin reads by the light of a thousand fireflies, because fireflies like to hear stories too. But if it's a warm night, he spreads his wings and flies into the sky to read by the light of the moon. There is a village near Franklin's cave. Sometimes Franklin goes there, but it's always quiet and it's always empty. And he can never find anyone to read stories to. I think we can all guess why that might be. They don't look very happy to have him here, maybe. They're a little bit scared. So Franklin goes home and reads about gymnastics and helps the bats in his cave set up a trapeze. Then he yawns very loudly and stretches his tail and climbs into bed with a cup of chamomile tea. He sleeps tucked up under hundreds of comics and dreams about Vikings sailing over the sea. You see, the bats get to be in there too. One day, by the stream, Franklin sees a man. What are you? cries the man, quaking in his boots. I'm Franklin, says Franklin, and he holds out his hand. I'm a dragon who loves books, and I live in a cave. But the man drops his fishing rod and runs far away. So Franklin goes home and reads about music and helps the mice in his cave start up a band. Next day, by the farm, Franklin sees a lady. What are you? cries a lady, shivering on the spot. I, I'm Franklin, says Franklin, and he holds out his hand. I'm a dragon and a band manager, and I like ballet. But the lady screams loudly and runs far away. So Franklin trails home and reads about space and helps the fireflies make patterns like the stars in the sky. Next day in the woods, Franklin sees a young girl. She has bright red hair, the same colour as the leaves, and she's reading a book sitting under a tree. Who are you? asked the girl, jumping up to her feet. I... I I'm Franklin, says Franklin, and he holds out his hand. I'm a dragon who likes stargazing and playing croquet. I love dragons, cries the girl, and she shakes Franklin's hand. You're in this book that I'm reading about a faraway land. Luna tells Franklin she's read about remote secret islands, about treasure hunts and pirates, about fruit bats and acrobats, and how to be a spy. Franklin tells Luna he's read about sword fighters and fire eaters, about circuses and anteaters, about flower arranging and carol singing and making apple pie. Luna and Franklin feel like they are made out of stories. Stories with exciting beginnings, thrilling middles and very happy ends. Stories about new people and strange places and about making friends. 
They want to share their favourite books with as many people as they can. So they sit down together and they come up with a plan. Ooh, there's so many different books and stories here and all of our mice friends as well. Very nice. Oh, and a cup of chamomile tea. Can't forget the cup of chamomile tea. They hoist bookshelves up high with the help of the mice and tie ropes around and around to make sure they fit tight. They move a sofa, some cake tins, tie comics on with string to make a small lopsided bookshop between Franklin swings. Everybody climbs on board. All of our lovely friends. Luna holds her breath. The mice hold each other. The fireflies gasp. And the bats cross their toes. Franklin bends down low and runs as fast as he can. He sprints down the hill and spreads out his wings and takes off into the sunset with the help of the wind. <laughs> the mice are all cuddled up and they're all scared. Franklin lands his flying bookshop in the middle of the village. It's that dragon! cries the fisherman. What a monster! Another cries. His name is Franklin, shouts Luna, a fierce look in her eyes. We built this bookshop together from the books in his cave. Franklin's kind and he's clever and he is my friend. Everyone looks a, a little bit scared though. There is a small silence and Franklin shuffles his feet in the quiet street. It's nice to meet you, he says as he waves at the crowd, who have stopped in their tracks and are listening now. We have lots of stories that we'd love to share. Please come say hello and pull up a chair. Luna looks very... She's got her arms crossed. She's like, sassy. The fireflies that light up the shelves. The bats cartwheel along the bookcases. And the mice clear their throats and start singing songs. <gasps> it's the band, guys. They're performing. Um, It isn't long before the villagers start taking a look. Climbing up onto Franklin to peer at the books. Franklin takes a deep breath as Luna passes out cake. He tells them stories about scientists and Antarctica and snakes. He whispers tales about dragons and how to make creme brulee. And everyone is listening to what he has to say. Let's fly, Luna smiles as the fireflies dance. And the acrobat bats show off their kung fu. So they all hold on tight as Franklin takes flight, reading books by the light of the moon. And that's the end. But you can see they're all, all being a bit more accepting and an understanding now that they know they all have something in common. They love a good story. So that's Franklin's Fine Bookshop. I hope you all liked it. I really enjoyed that story. I think it's really pretty. And there's some strange half rhymes in it, but what a fun one. See you all soon.